Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 48th episode of the Multiplayer RPG Tutorial Series. In this one we'll be getting setting up our magic and magic casting and stance and stuff like that. So in this one we'll be, be starting off by setting up our magic weapon pickups which will enter us into a magic stance which will set us specific animations for when we're in our magic and we have our magic weapons equipped. So without further ado, we'll get into setting this up. First thing I'm going to do is just drag my test project over here out of the way. And we're going to go into our blueprints and our data and our enums. And we're just going to set up a new item type for staff. Save that. And close that out now. And we're going to want to go into our items and our pickups. And we're going to need a new pickup. So I'm going to create a child of my master pickup. And that's going to be my staff pickup. I'll open that up. And the item type is going to be a staff. We don't have a holdable blueprint yet. So to do that, we will just need to come in here. I'm just going to save all. And I'm going to create a child. And it's going to be BP staff. And I'll also open that one up. Save it. And now right here in our holdable, or in our pickup, we can select the staff. And now that we have our blueprints created, we want to go to our pickup match and search staff in our Infinity Blade Weapons Pack. There's a static mesh for our staff there. I'm just going to temporarily use that one for my testing. You can use any other staff that you find or any models that you have that you like. And I'm just going to center this so that when we lay the blueprint on the floor. I'm just going to browse to it. So now when we lay the blueprint down, it'll be centered rather than off center like these, which you can actually adjust these pretty easily. It's going in here. Now I'll just adjust where the center of the weapon is. So now that we have our weapon created, we want to go to our blueprints and our data, open up our item list, and we are going to create a new one. And I'm actually going to delete that right here under action, right click and insert new row below so that the weapons are in the same spot. Make it a little more organized and there's some weapon staff one. Give it a name. A little description. Staff type. Holdable BP is staff. Stance is magic. And our item is staff. And we can go to our weapon sword. Copy our socket details, or actually our weapon axe. Copy our socket details. Or any other weapon you have is created from the infinity blade. Just paste those there. And save. And I'm just going to test picking it up. Okay, I had a feeling that would happen. Okay, so... Our mesh doesn't have a holdable, so that uh, we need to go to our find our mesh. If our, I mean, it doesn't have collision, so if that happens and you have it pick up set up and you can't pick it up. You want to go find your mesh, open that up, and we'll just add a simplified box collision and save that. And now we should be able to pick it up, but we should get some errors. The thing's not spawning properly. 
And that is due to our set stance and our character, and it's because it's not getting the proper stance from our item and our combat component. So I'm just gonna go and open up my combat component. And to my set current held item. I'm just gonna copy this first one right here. Control C and Control V it down here. And plug that in like that. Bring the return down to the final one. And our local pickup is gonna be a staff. But we're gonna check if the staff is equipped. And that's gonna set our weapon reference to the staff. And in our staff, we want to also set our item ID for our row, which is weapon underscore staff one. Now will allow it to fill out the data right here for our data table. And also give them, put the mesh in place. Let's go test again and see what's working. So now we have our staff equipping, but we don't have our animation set up yet. So let's miss that. So now we're just going to animations and open up our animation blueprint. And we're going to want to go to our anim graph. I'm actually just going to close tabs to the right. Go to my anim graph. Just checking this out quickly. Can I go to my anim graph? And in my default poses, I click idle. And I'm just going to make some room here. So we have our magic pose. Actually, I'm just going to put that after since it's after that. So I'm just going to copy this melee pose and paste this down here so we can get our animations from our weapon since it's similar to our melee but we're in a different stance we'll also be able to adjust anything later on magic specific related to our animations here and it won't affect anything to do with our melee so magic stance go back to default go to your run I'll we'll do the same thing here. Get our melee with no shield. That's our magic stance now. So we can adjust things specific to our magic here if we needed to later on. And now we need to go into our data table because we actually need to set some animations. And this is where we set our animations. So our idle is going to be... Um, I just I think I selected the ALS idle left foot. Just so I can have a different idle pose than the other ones to show that it was different. And we'll just get our walk for now. Run. Put in our equip and our unequip animations. And we'll have our weapon picked up. It's going to set some socket locations if you're using this specific one. You don't want to mess around with the sockets as much. I said I was playing with them earlier and I set some that looked alright to me. So it's going to set this to 0, set this to 90, 5 for the location, negative 50, 0. I believe that's what I had in here. And 
Yeah, so we have our so now we have our weapon equipping. And we have one bug that we're gonna fix once we look into our next video with our combat and stuff, and that's to do with when we pick up our weapon, it's not right here we have a check for if our weapon is equal to the same type. So if a sword comes in, if you have a if you have a staff equipped and you want to pick up a, a sword, then this type is not equal. So then we'll go into the false, and then it will continue to run through here and spawn the weapon still. Um, I'm just going to disable this for now right here. But right here, we're going to redo this and basically allow us to switch between our weapons. And I'm stuck in him for some reason. That's just a spawning issue that we're going to need to look over. Make sure people don't spawn in the same area. So now we can pick up our staff. And it doesn't pick this up for now. We disabled that. And that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Or join my community Discord using the link in the description. I'm sure someone there might be able to help you if I don't happen to get to you in time. But I'm on Discord actively all throughout the day, and I'm on YouTube several times throughout the day to check my messages. Uh, so thank you, and I'll see you all in the next episode when we continue with our magic system.